Oh yeah, I also need to finish Dead Rising on Saturday because. Okay, we're gonna spend Saturday playing Dead Rising. We need to finish that. If we can, we can probably fit it into the marathon if possible, but I doubt it. Considering we're dealing with Mega Man games of all things, and I think everyone knows how brutal those games are. Hmm. I feel like this game gave. I feel like this game's giving me Stockholm syndrome. Um, metaphor. Um, I'm gonna try to pre-order it as if I can, because when it drops, I want to play through it. But my get whole thing channel's gimmick is playing like retro games, so that's gonna be a maybe. Because I did it with SMT5 when that game came out, but that's because I love SMT5 Vengeance. And yeah, so maybe when Re Metaphor comes out, maybe I'll stream it because it looks genuinely fun. And from what I know, which there's also another reason I brought up uh, the Trails games, because apparently. Um, Reverie, the newest one, has similar mechanics to Metaphor, from what I've heard? Or I may be wrong. Because I know I've, I remember seeing, like, um, articles saying that, hey, if you want to, like, have an idea of what Metaphor's gameplay is going to be like, look at Reverie. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's see what it's like. And apparently it switches, like, act as a combination of action RPG with turn base. Which I know Metaphor is trying to go for that, kind of. So maybe that's true? I don't know. Like, <laughs> aww. <laughs> I knew this game was unbalanced, but Jesus Christ, dude. Are you absolutely shitting me? Oh no. Armageddon. Oh no. That's even worse. Because I've seen what Armageddon does. Doesn't that thing straight up one shot Reaper in Persona 3? Imagine they bring them back for P6 fusion spells. That would be insane. The amount of broken tech you could do. It's gonna be wild. Like, the amount of broken shit there is gonna be insane if they re bring that shit back. Which, not gonna lie, could be pretty cool to bring them back. But, considering the fact it'll probably be a bitch and a half to balance all that. Yeah, I don't know if they'd want to. Yeah, pretty much. You have to get Lucifer for that skill, right? Like, I'm pretty sure you gotta get Lucifer with that skill, if that's the case. Oh, hey, Vitz, you're new. Oh, here's the thing. Uh, PSP port. Here's the thing. This is the PSP port with mods. Um, I know. I didn't like, download any gameplay mods. On well, my totally legit PSP, uh, what I did do is I just downloaded an upscaling mod for the UI. That's pretty much it. Other than the fact, yeah, nothing's really changed. Just most of the UI, make everything look much more crisp and like cleaner. Because I looked at the old UI and the old UI, and it's absolutely atrocious. Oh yeah, Persona One's plot is not that complicated, but it's just very surreal. And yeah, it's it's not even a, it's not even that complicated a plot. It's just that they made it complicated for some weird reason. I don't know why. Like it's it's weird how complicated they made made it. BRB work. Oh, okay, then that's fine. And they just made the lore really complicated, and I don't know why. Oh, uh, also, some stats have actually to go away, like this one, for example, Guilt, which is just stun, but with extra steps. <laughs> yeah, some, like, happy, the happiness stack, Guilt, yeah, some of these don't really need to be needed. Yeah, like, like, some of these are just straight up unneeded. Like, I don't know why they're like this. Like, there's too many skills in this game that need to be getting... Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's extremely bloated with skills. They need to just get rid of some of them. But they don't need any of these. Like, happiness, guilt... And the thing is, guilt and these don't even work half the time. Because uh, apparently, you need to stack them before they do anything. So... There's just no point in having them. I will just have stun. It's just weird. Just redesign in general. Like, 
Also, I like how in Persona 1 and 2 you can actually buy real guns. I remember when they brought, I, like, I wasn't aware of this, but I remember when P5 came out, I thought the guns were in all the games. But no, they're only in P5 and 1 and 2 if there's no gun. Like, that's what shocked me at first. I thought there was going to be guns in, like, the rest of the, all the games, but no. 3 and 4 don't have guns, which is surprising. My guess is the fact they wanted to bring, like, how do I say this? So they wanted to have, like, actual uses for spells and actually try to make tension. But here's the thing. They just brought back guns anyways because they realized, you know, SMT4 was a thing. And guns work fine there. <laughs> Yes, but I, I don't mean like, oh, character specific. I mean characters that could just, like, that could just use a gun regardless. Like, oh, um, how do I say this? That Narukami can buy, like, an, or a pistol, uh, Kanji can buy a shotgun, like, things like that. Like, every character can have a gun, not just specific ones. I still find it funny that I remember. I still find it really funny. Um... Oh, really? I thought people 2 had guns. Or am I just bullshit? Because I thought P2 characters had guns. Oh, so only P1 and 5 have guns. Oh. But why the fuck did they get rid of guns then? That's so weird. Yeah, because that's something I need to realize. Is that, um... That I'm, I'm, I think, um, yeah. Yeah, Shoji Meguro, I think, was also helping out. Which is kind of weird, because I remember, didn't Shoji leave the company in, like, 2022 or something? Or 2021, if I remember? Yeah. Here, yeah, I have an idea how it might sound like. Here's the thing, though. P Studio, obviously. Um, my guess is that, because here's the thing, there's three studios under Atlas that's making stuff right now. Obviously, there's P Studio that everyone knows. Mainline S there's a studio for Mainline S&T, and then one for any side franchises. So, they can, they definitely can, yeah, they can, they're working on it. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm trying to sell this, my gear to lose enough space. Yeah, like they have some members just doing their own thing. Yeah. <laughs> my guess they have a separate section of P Studio working on like remakes or some shit. Because I know they're not afraid to outsource their games. I know they're not afraid to do that. They're not afraid to outsource. You s <laughs> which is funny, because you say that, yet it's being done with the same artist. Which is... <laughs> funny to me. Like, uh... You see, I don't know why, because like... The Persona artist, I'm pretty sure they allowed him just to go ham, and because of that, he went ham and absolutely fucking... Oh my god, it's insane. But yeah, I'm well aware that Atlas has, like, their own studios under them. And that they're not afraid to outsource their games. I mean, look what they did with Persona 5 Strikers. Well, yeah, I know it's a medieval-inspired fantasy. I know that. I'm well aware. I'm just saying. Here's the thing, though. Considering the fact SMT as a, as a franchise as a whole is their goal is like their whole thing, I doubt they're gonna abandon the SMT franchise like that. They're obviously gonna keep supporting it. It's just that now, considering Sega owns them, they're probably gonna need another department just for like Re Fantasio if it is that successful. Because Persona 5 put them on the map, obviously. But if Re Fantasio gets the same amount of hype and sales numbers and reviews as five you bet your ass they're gonna milk that shit so they are gonna do that if, they, if it's successful yeah that's why i've been talking about your fantasio has its own department
Oh. Oh, that's such bullshit. Oh, so essentially they're this they're temporarily fucking you over. Okay. <sighs> oh boy. Old school SMT, am I right? Well, that happens. I'm gonna do something real quick. Hold on. Finally, you're dead. Yeah, Tatsuya was voiced by Keith Silverstein in like the PSP version of Innocent Sin. Eternal Punishment, yeah, you, yeah. It was the original PS1 for Eternal Punishment was voiced by someone else. And for one I know, PS1 Eternal Punishment is way harder than P2 Eternal Punishment on um, PSP. The PSP versions. You know what I mean. Like, apparently they're much harder in the original PS1 versions. Because I remember watching a review of it, if you ever heard of K-Bash, he um, essentially did a playthrough of each game. And um, I, gotta, I gotta commend that man's absolute commitment to the, for, to the, video, the videos he makes. Cause oh my god, he played through most of those. He played through like God knows how many JRPGs in like the span of a month, and it was insane. Yeah, that's what they usually do. I didn't think they did with Persona Five, where because what ends up happening is that uh, Alice would release the game. Like they did, they did with P Five Royal specifically, because I know in vanilla P Five. You couldn't exactly use your gun all that often. Like, um, because I know in Royal, they made it so that every battle... No, marks are not an exchange it's doing. Here's the thing. In order to keep in line with the original PS1 game, they kept their English names for some of the characters, like Mark and Brown. But for everyone else, they changed their names back to the original Japanese versions. Mark's real name is Masao, and I forgot Brown's real name. Because I know Brown's real name is, you know, Japanese. Yeah, it was really dumb. You had to, like, constantly force yourself. Oh, yeah, Nanjo. Yeah, Nate. Nanjo was Nate in the original PS1 version. Which is... They had to go for the really generic names, did they? Yeah, they had to go for the really generic names. You know what'd be fucked up? Imagine they reference the... Uh, make Mark and Brown separate characters in like Persona 6 and they reference like... Oh, an American artist comes from Jap Japan to promote his art or some shit. And it's just like... Mark and Masao is like working together. It'd be really funny. I mean, no one can say no to that, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that name, dude? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, what sort of name is that shit? <laughs> Not even you spelled it right, you misspelled it again, you misspelled it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Marine dick fire. <laughs> oh no, I'm not underestimating it because that sounds OP as fuck. But Jesus Christ, that name. Like, it sounds OP as fuck. Extreme fire damage along with charm just sounds like a dream.
Dude, it took me literal years to play Undertale because I didn't have a PC in middle school. So what ended up happening is I had to wait till the PS4 port. Yeah, people underestimate just how much an impact Undertale had. That game had a severe impact. Like, it took over my middle school years. Because <laughs> I would just constantly read comic dubs. Which, I ended up hearing that Starbot went there like, oof. Because I used to watch a lot of Starbot dubs. And, oh my god, it's a shame what happened to them today, nowadays. It sucks, but, nah, it's just something that happens every now and then. It sucks. What can you do? Yeah, it was a great game, but the but the community absolutely ruined the game's rep. Is do people still know the game is great? Yeah. The problem is the community, because I remember when that game was coming out, the Undertale community was absolutely atrocious. Yeah. Although you're probably gonna hate me for this, but I played the Undertale, but here's the thing. I've never done genocide, just because I just can't bring myself to do it. Can... Yeah. Oh god, the Sans memes. Dude, I remember- I know some people... Um... <laughs> I don't know. Not you reminded me of Sans. Now I need to make a toggle for something. Yeah, I just could never bring myself to do the genocide route. And I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. As for Delta Rune, I can just never bring myself to do that type of stuff either. Because, um... Well, you say it's easy. You say that. Sans are so damn bad, they ended up funny as hell instead. I mean, it's the character. I mean, his puns were so bad, they went, they went around to being good. So, you can't exactly blame him. Although, we can also thank Undertale for another thing. Like, bro, have you seen the animations for Undertale? They are absolutely fucking... They go fucking hard. Um, does anyone remember... It's a really old animation. I forgot what it was. Essentially, it was meant to be like... Um, one of the... Another genocide route animation. Where it's like... Sans was able to permanently kill off Kara. But then Kara somehow... It was really fucking brutal. Uh, got out of a literal skin suit, or am I just imagining this shit? I forgot what that was. <sighs> Final X anime, we turn on the sensors. No! No, fuck that. Also, I'm pretty sure Myrosu wants that game to be erased from the internet anyway, so it's like, I'm doing him a favor by not playing it. Because I know Myrosu, oh boy, Myrosu, he didn't, he wanted to erase that game from his memory. I think he even, I think, didn't he delete his DeviantArt when it happened? Because I know after that game became popular and he changed some of his content, he had to like, go out of his way to try to remove it. Any and all of some of it from his channel. Like, he still has... I think he still has them on his channel. I think. But I don't know. I may be wrong. Because I know he wanted like to change his way his stuff worked. Yeah, because after, after a couple years, he just kept being known as the guy that made Fania. And just wanted to just... Wanted to get away from it. And he ended up... I think he deleted his DeviantArt with it, too. And then, not gonna lie, I don't blame him, considering the fact he's probably wasn't an edgy, was, um, I don't blame him. Because I think we've all been through there, where it's like you made something when you were young and it was like really cursed. But then you realize that you were just an immature kid. So, it's understandable what happened with him. Does it suck? Yes, because usually it's, because he was a really good artist, like, Loot art aside, he was a good artist. He is probably still really good at it, too. But it's a shame that I don't think he's that prevalent anymore. Yeah, because Myrisu's art is really good, not gonna lie. He's really good at drawing. Which, 
I want to try to get in the habit of making drawn thumbnails now, but I can never do it because I'm just too lazy. Because uh, I've been trying to get into drawing thumbnails. I did make a thumbnail once for Persona, but after that, I just never did it because um, that's a bad habit of mine that every, for some weird reason, I would always edit my videos at late at, late at night, and I don't know why. Draw a thumbnail the Pikachu Cup. Hey, maybe I can make a day out of the week where it's just drawing streams. Maybe I could do that. That would be cool, actually. <laughs> make it like a day for drawing streams. Oh, by the way, before you any of you guys showed up, um, Jakey here knows it. So we hit 150 subs when the stream started. And you know what that means. All Nighter Mega Man. Oh, boy. Well, not exactly. Well, kind of. I have, like, family that needs help with, like, stuff and every now and then. And, like, um... Yeah. Yeah, essentially... Yeah, I have some family getting in the way during the day. Um, here's the thing. Essentially, what I wanted to do is that I want to do a Mega Man Zero Marathon where I go through 3 and 4. And then, if possible, we could do Dead Rising as well. It's gonna be an all-nighter stream, essentially. Like, we're gonna stream till, like, maybe 8 a.m. Like, from 9.30 to 8 a.m., I think. That's the idea I wanna- that's the range I wanna go for. Set- uh, well, 8 a.m. is kinda pushing it. Maybe 7.30, 7, 7 a.m. Maybe. Yeah, um, cause here's the thing, I'm a night owl, as you can tell. Um, so I don't like doing all like the streaming and editing stuff during the day because I always get like interrupted. So what I'll do is that, uh, <clears throat> is that I'll like edit stuff during night. Not only that, I can't exactly make thumbnails because of the sole fact that unless I vividly remember what happened during the video, I can't exactly do the thumbnail right. The only reason I drew that thumbnail is because that dungeon, when it happened, I was going, I was essentially just... Losing my shit in that dungeon with like the I think it was one of Maki it was like the uh, harem queen. Yeah harem queen And I lost my shit in that dungeon and I ended up like being miserable That's why I was afraid of doing persona alone because I knew if I was alone. I would lose my shit But so far I'm doing just fine <laughs> Yeah, and I rage quit. Yeah, you were there jet. I lost my shit <laughs> Let me run Ah, oh, fuck! You say that, but I'm not joking when I said this. Apparently, um, someone interviewed the original SMT3 devs, and they were like, are you aware how hard you made this game? And they're like, it was not our intention to make the game hard, but if it was hard, then we're sorry. <laughs> you realize how cruel that sounds? You realize how... Oh my God. It's like, we didn't intend to make it hard, but if it was, we're sorry, I guess. So I'm like... You did not just... You did not... No, I refuse to acknowledge that. It was so... It kind of... Hurt, it kind of pissed me off, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that shit is so funny to me. It was so fucking... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, here's the thing. The game is not as hard as people say. They probably say it's hard because of the fact, you know, that certain scale of fuck we can talk about later. Uh, but yeah, that's probably why people say it's hard because of that shit. But the thing is, at the time, no one really knew what a press turn system was. So we were still just figuring it out what it was until we like knew exactly how it worked. 
So at least we have a much better idea how it works. If we want to talk hard, we're gonna look at SMT5. That shit's hard. <laughs> I am not redoing my Matador fight, no. Fuck! Are you guys weak to again? Electric nuclear gravity blast. Okay, so. Mind is starting to starting to feel it. I can feel it. Oh boy! Hopefully, I could do this. Oh man, the sleep's starting to get to me because we've been streaming for way past my limit. I uh, hopefully I'll be able to do this during the the all nighter. I'm playing a game that requires my focus all the time. So maybe I could do it. Hopefully. I'm hoping I can. And JK, I've been dying to these bastards for the hot for a hot minute now. Because of the fact that they keep using curse on me, and it's really, really starting to get to me. It's getting kind of annoying. Kill you guys last time. Oh yeah, you're weak to wind. And fire, apparently. To absorb gunshots, though. God, you guys are tanky. Well, well that's in T4. Um, I played mo I have I played through 4A. Vanilla 4 I have yet to play. I want to play through it though, just to see how PTSD inducing it is. Because it's so bad that JP, my old co-host, well actually, oh that JP, actually you know he's still gonna come back. He's on hiatus. Is that he has PTSD from that game and refuses to touch the damn thing. So I'm like, you know what? I might at some point when I beat three. We'll just go play four and see how that goes. Cause I know if you want, cause I know if you want to get the neutral ending, it's a bitch and a half to get because of the fact that endings specifications are super specific. So it's probably really hard to get an, a specific ending. Like it's really easy to get Law of Chaos, but getting neutral is a bitch and a half. Cause you got to be truly neutral, not just like pick it. But you gotta like be very careful with what you pick. Because some choices give like a cool point or some shit. Because a lot of this stuff in SMT is super interesting. Like their own interpretations of different mythologies, different religions. It's just so weird. I love it because of it. Like as a whole, not just Persona SMT, but like the entire franchise as a whole. Yeah, and that's what I love about Five as well. Like for the angels too. Like, like I said, they have all their own interpretations, and 
Like, a lot of SMG's charm comes from the fact it does things differently than other RPGs, where other RPGs rather go for a fantasy or sci-fi fantasy setting. SMT is the only franchise I know that does an apocalypse, other than, you know, exceptions like Lisa the Painful and all that shit. So the f fact that they're willing to go this far for um, this franchise is already an insane amount of dedication. Because, I mean, they've been stuck with this franchise for literal years now. They've been making constant SMT spinoffs every, every time. Like, they've always been doing spinoffs for literal, for years. So the so it kind of makes me happy that they finally moved on to other stuff like things like um, like Refantasio for example, because something tells me that they're gonna have a brighter future if Refantasio is successful because that means they'll get to do a lot more different ideas, new IPs and the like. God, there's so many dark rooms. Jesus Christ. Like, there's so many dark rooms. Like, what the hell is going on? Why are there so many dark rooms? One day, P2. One day. Yeah, one day. Hopefully, after we're almost done with this. Just a few more streams and we're good to go. And then we can finally do P2. Because once we get to P2, it's going to be... Ooh boy, I'm hyped for P2 once we get to it. Because the moment we get to it, we're going to have some feels. A lot of feels. Guns? Okay. Hey now yeah, you hear something? <laughs> I told her so many times not to come here. She'll get lost. Maki. Where are you, Maki? You just hear did you just hear it say Maki? Hmm. Hmm. Sounded rather like Maki's mother to me. I've been telling you, I don't have a mom. Maki? Is that you, Maki? Come here. The door doesn't seem locked. What should we do, Naya? Maybe a trap. Should we go in? <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> so it was a trap after all. Let's do this, Naya. Maki? Oh, Maki. I finally found you. You're safe. That voice. There's no mistake in it. It's Maki's mother. I've been looking for you all this time. Please come to me, Maki. Uh, dude? Nowdin, what do we do? He doesn't kill Maki. We gotta defeat it now. That voice. That's Maki's mom. Dead sure. Isn't it? I don't know why she'd look like that, but if it really is her mom. Put your weapon away now, yeah. <sighs> what will you do? Hold on. Okay, so apparently I gotta lower my weapons. Ah, 
Okay. <sighs> this isn't the infirmary. Oh, it's the haunted mansion. I'm just having a dream about this place. See? Maka's mom doesn't exist in this world, so... This has to be her, but... What's she doing here? You okay, lady? Yes, I am alright. Maka used to get lost at this haunted mansion often when she was little. I'm used to looking for her here. I was just dreaming about those days. I was searching for her in this huge mansion, and I heard Maki call to me. I don't remember anything after that. Um, miss, I'm not your real child after all. <laughs> what? Allow me to explain. And one really long explanation later. <laughs> so that's it. You're the Maki of this world. Why don't I exist here? Uh oh, the dimensional passageway is about to disappear. Sorry lady, but we have to chase down Kandori. Alright, just give me one moment. The dimensional passageway is very unstable right now. Someone has to stay here and operate the machine. What? No, we can't leave anyone here. I'll do it. Don't worry. Go ahead on your own. Oh, I'd be grateful you come came to get me when this is all over with. Miss. Yes, speak quickly. There isn't much time. I don't have a mother, but if I did, I'd hope for one as kind as caring as you. We'll be Kandori and save your Maki while we're at it. Yes, please do. Thank you. Now get going, all of you. Be careful. Yes, finally, we're done. It's been four hours. Oh, God. Fucking Christ. finally back home yay we're now in hell oh I don't feel so good <laughs> I feel sick must be tougher than look now yep because it was false teleportation. Really. We just got ourselves lucky we can't throw in one piece. Can you stand up, Maki? <clears throat> up we go. I'm okay now. Get a grip, Hidehiko. You're the leader, aren't you? Sure I am, I was just messing around with you guys. Totally fine, just watch me. How was that? Leader's gotta lead, repeat after me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's so funny, Hidehiko. I know, right? Tall stud, good looks, and a great sense of humor. Only rival is Nakai from the Judas Brothers. Certain guy in the neck cap can't beat me. Yeah, and you know what I'm talking about, Maki. <sighs> what an idiot. All well, those and blunt scissors are going to be useful in a couple of my hands. <laughs> Look, someone's over there. Oh, it's the old scientist.
I'm back. Just have to do something real quick. Ugh. My head. Hey, the old dude survived. Something seems weird about him, though. Uh, judgment fall upon the foolish humans. Mankind needs no future. Ruin, annihilation, destruction, destruction, destruction. The judgment fall on mankind. Let the music of destruction ring out. Dude, what's gotten into you? Come on, why are you talking like Kandori? Oh, shit. Because he's already a little more than my double. In fact, humans around the world already share my desire for annihilation. Kandori? What the hell are you talking about? Have you even watched the entire globe with that mirror? What? Everyone following a unified ideology. Doesn't it sound wonderful? I've accomplished something no ruler ever achieved. I have transcended the human. That's preposterous. All I need to do now is give the order for them to kill each other. And everything will be over. A fitting end for a species of fools. Nothing else will be hurt. Only mankind will be wiped from this planet. But why? Why do you want to do this to people? Says what I don't like you, Maki Sonomura. How do you know my name? Mirror's power affects all, and children are no exception. Can you still reach me where I wait? <laughs> wait, you coward! Damn it. Follow me, everyone. Uh, you good, brother? Uh, we're gonna save it here. For those that enjoyed the stream and are new, um, I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed. And, uh, yeah, on Thursday, we're gonna do an all-nighter stream, and it's gonna be a Mega Man binge. So... Yeah, please subscribe. I'm hoping... Now a new goal would be 200 subscribers, and if that's the case, then, yeah, I need to start making the fucking wheel. That way we can do a punishment game for every couple deaths. And, uh, for those, as you say, I really appreciate you subscribed and liked the stream. For those that are watching after the stream, I would really appreciate you guys subscribed. If you guys want to continue seeing my content, like the video if you think you enjoyed it. And leave any comments for any, like, you know, things you want to say about the stream. And, uh, yeah, I'm tired. So, I'ma just end stream here and see you guys on Thursday. Oh, boy. Wish me luck. And good night, fellas.